I read a book this summer called uh, The Great Influenza. It's normally out of my reading zone. The Great Influenza by John Barry. It is, it is a magisterial work. It, it is one of the most thoroughly researched books of any subject I've ever read in my entire life. And once I started reading, couldn't put it down. It's not graphs and scientific data. It's the story of the great flu epidemic that hit the United States in the teen years, 1918. And in 24 months, the best estimates are 100 million people died on this planet. 100 million people. They faced a virulent virus that had morphed itself and mutated itself into such virulence that the normal process of viral infection didn't, didn't operate. It was so virulent, some people died of the sheer trauma to the body that the virus brought. Some people died of secondary causes, primarily pneumonia. Most people who died, died between the ages of 20 and 40, who had the strongest immune system because their own immune system killed them. In its effort to fight the virus, it killed the person. 100 million people. All of that happened because of a tiny virus in some pigs in Kansas. All viruses come from birds, got in pigs. Some people who were around the pigs were conscripted to go into World War I. They were sent to a base in Kansas with 25,000 soldiers, infected the soldiers there, and it went all over the world. A virus isn't like a bacteria. It's not a fully live entity. It only has half a life. In order to reproduce itself, it has to attach itself to a living cell, and then it takes over the encoded genetic system in that living cell and reproduces itself through that living cell. What kind of a, what kind of a mysterious evil is that? And it could happen again. This is a very dangerous place to live. I am so glad to be living on this end of human history. Do you know there wasn't a disease in the history of humanity cured scientifically until 1885? Because they didn't know what caused disease. They were bleeding people. So you can be thankful for advancement, right? You can be thankful that you're living on this end of man subduing the earth. But this is a dangerous planet to live on. I want all the energy I can get. And I want it for all the world because people who are poor and deprived of energy are the ones that die in natural disasters. So this is a very, very, very hard place to survive. And you know that, natural evil. That's why Romans 8 says the whole creation does what? Groans. There's 